A lot of us grew up watching The Undertaker take souls and dig holes, so to see him finally hang up his boots was saddening to say the least. Seeing him place his gear in the middle of the ring is something that I will never forget. He's been a huge part of my childhood and wrestling will never be the same without him. But with that said, here are 5 reasons why The Undertaker's retirement is a good thing. Did you notice that every older superstar from previous eras lost at WrestleMania? Triple H, Chris Jericho, Shane McMahon, Goldberg, and Undertaker all lost their matches, and I believe this was WWE's way of officially ending an era. By that, I mean the company can symbolically move on from the past to expand and grow without the presence of old school guys like The Undertaker holding them back. Is this a good thing? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see where WWE goes from here. Like Vince McMahon has candidly stated in the past, The Undertaker is all about giving back to the company. He had no problem letting Brock Lesnar end the streak as he thought it would benefit him and the company, and I know that's exactly why he chose Roman Reigns as his final opponent at WrestleMania. Yes, Vince has ultimate authority, but it's been said that Undertaker actually chose Roman himself so he could put him over. Like I said, Undertaker is all about giving back to the company, and I think he's done his part. Now we just need WWE to turn Roman heel. As much as we all love The Undertaker, he simply can't perform at the same level he used to. There's no way around it, he's getting older and can't keep up anymore. The fact that this 52 year old man could complete a match at all is crazy, but you can't deny that his performances these last few years and especially at WrestleMania 33 were not quite up to par. I say he's making the smart move in retiring before his diminished performances affect his legacy. With age also comes health concerns and as we know, wrestling can be detrimental to your health. Taker just underwent hip surgery last year and apparently already has another one booked for this year, not to mention his previous injuries and the general wear and tear on his body accumulated throughout his long career. After all, there is a life after wrestling. Mark Calloway has a beautiful wife to go home to and we all want him to live a long healthy life, so the best course of action for him is to hang up his boots. The Undertaker has spent over 30 years beating up his body to entertain us, and to be frank, he deserves to retire. All the other reasons excluded, the fact that he's been doing this so long and done so much for the company and us fans is reason enough that we should be happy he's retiring. He spent the majority of his life in the squared circle and he's more than earned this. Of course, we'll miss him dearly, but The Undertaker deserves to live his life, a life that isn't tethered to the ring. And those are 5 reasons why The Undertaker's retirement is a good thing. Wrestling will never be the same without the dead man, but at least we know some good things came out of the situation. Anyways, be sure to let me know your favorite Undertaker moment in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.